Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hondo 2645. So before we get going, I want to thank Phil Guajardo from Hondo for sending me these great boots. I really appreciate it, Phil. So guys, I've been really excited to do this review for quite a while. Hondo is one of the most traditional boot makers out there. They've been in business since 1965 in El Paso, Texas, and they've been making their boots the exact same way since 1978. Phil's dad started the company. He's 89 years old and still comes to work every day. So I've had a lot of conversations over the last several months with Phil. He's a really great guy and he's really walked me through a lot of the different aspects that make Hondo special. These are a very traditionally made boot. They have a leather insole, leather outsole. They're made with a steel shank. Now Phil told me that they enjoy making boots the old way. One of the reasons is they're not pretentious. They have changed some toe styles over the years to keep up with the trends, but they don't want to go to innovative designs such as removable insoles because they feel they would just price themselves out of the market. Now you're not going to find Hondos in big retailers like Boot Barn or Cavenders. They're sold in the smaller mom and pop shops. Now a lot of these stores have been around for years and years. They're on the third generation owners and Phil's dad originally dealt with the first generation owners. So that's just another aspect of them keeping it old school and keeping it traditional. Now they recently have started selling their boots on Amazon just to establish a really small online presence but they're going to be a little bit more expensive on Amazon and according to Phil that's because they're not going to undercut their retailers on the prices. Now another thing that sets Hondo apart from other boot companies, Phil and his dad are the owners and they don't have any outside investors so there's never any pressure to change the way they do things. So what do you say we take a look at these boots? All right, so there's a little envelope in the package. It says Pride right there on a sticker. We got an awesome Hondo sticker right here with their logo on it. So we also got a little note here. It says, congratulations on your investment. Uh, it's got some tips on how to make sure they fit correctly. And then at the bottom, it's got some tips on boot care and how to have your best wearing experience. All right, so first thing, as soon as you open that box, you get the intoxicating leather smell. I mean, it hits you in the face and it is just awesome. Now, Hondo is based out of El Paso, Texas, but these boots are handmade in Leon, Mexico. So this is just an outstanding looking boot, you guys. It's a maple rough out cowhide on the vamp. And then the top is what he calls a mango volcano top. I've never owned a rough out before and this is really cool. It's what a rough out is is the underside of the cowhide. So it's not the shiny side that you get on a lot of boots. It's the underneath side. So it's similar to a suede, but it's got a lot thicker nap on it and honestly it feels better quality to me. It is really cool. It looks and feels tougher than a suede and it just has a great look to it. So one of the first things I noticed about this boot when I pulled it out is the low profile on it. Especially back here in the heel, you can see it just doesn't seem to come up as high as the current modern boots these days that have an insole in them. And that's because it's a channel welt that makes the boot sit lower on the sole. Now the heel on this boot is a stacked leather heel and if you notice it's kind of a hybrid. The height of it is in between a cowboy walking heel and a stockman or a roper heel. And in my last review video, if you haven't seen it, I'll put the link up here. I mentioned that I really like the Spur Ridge look. I'm not a cowboy, I don't work on ranches, but I just really enjoy that look. It's really traditional and I think it's cool. Now this is a double stitch welt, but if you see the square toe is narrower and Field described it more as a French toe, which I kind of agree with, and it's just a really cool look. To me, it makes it look just a little bit more traditional than the big wide square toes that are popular today. So like I said earlier, it's a hard leather outsole. It's got brass nails and lemonwood pegs holding it together. It's got a heel cap on it, stamped Hondo, and that's held on with brass nails and some glue. So that's gonna be really secure as well. The leather they use on the top here is something they use on a lot of their boots and Phil calls it volcano leather. And it's got a lot of different dark color variations on it, 
which I think is really cool. And then this color is just fantastic. It's almost like a burnt orange. And then the stitching being the white and gold, and it's even got a little bit of the orange on the outside, just complements it so well. Now, if you look at the stitching, look at how tight that stitching is. I mean, it has done so well. It just looks fantastic. So on the toe here, you've got the traditional toe bug, which you don't see on a lot of rough out boots. And I always prefer to have that on my boots. Another thing here on the pull tabs, you've got the volcano leather and the rough out. And that's a really nice touch and I think it looks awesome. So this boot is leather lined and it's a really nice feeling leather. It has the exposed seams that you can see there, but they're done really well. They're tied up against the side and they're not rough at all. It has a hard leather traditional insole that feels like one piece. There is a, in the heel, there is a little overlay of some smooth leather that you can feel, but it's really thin. There's no ridge there at all. You can barely even feel it with your hand. This insole feels great and it is really gonna mold to your foot. Now Phil told me to take care of this leather. Most people will just hit it with a horsehair brush and knock the dust off of them. This boot is made to be worn. It is made to be abused. It's made for working cowboys, so it's gonna stand up to anything you're gonna encounter out on a ranch. But if you wanna keep it looking really nice for around the town wear, like a lot of us do, you could hit it with a little bit of suede protectant spray. However, sometimes that can darken the leather. So if you wanna keep this the exact same color, I would start out and test it out on one of these pull tabs here and just see what it's gonna come out looking like. So what do you say we try these on? Wow, these are amazing, you guys. That hard leather insole is really something special. If you haven't tried one with that, you need to because it's unlike anything in the modern boots with a removable insole. It's gonna form exactly to your foot and be a perfect fit. And these things fit snug like they should. I mean, it's just perfect. They're gonna stretch a little over time. And I can tell you can wear these all day right out of the box. They are awesome. All right, let's go back up top. Okay, so final thoughts. I love this boot. This is as traditional as it gets. I love the looks of it. I'm a huge fan of this color rough out with this mango color top. I love that it's a narrower square toe here. I think it just looks awesome with this double stitch welt. It's a little bit different than a lot of boots you see these days. I also love the heel on this. I love the height of it and that spur ridge just looks fantastic. Now you can tell just by looking at this boot when you pull it out of the box, but especially when you try it on and wear it, that this is a handmade quality boot and it definitely gets the Lone Star stamp of approval. Now that's all I have for today, guys. If you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you to all my current subscribers and everybody watching this. I really appreciate it. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.